welcome to today's session. Uh, today's session basically is focused towards adding color to our garden during summers. Because what happens is we believe that we can put a sunflower or zinnia in the garden. But that's really not the case. There are many other flowers or other ways of adding color to our garden. And uh, the prime focus basically is we have introduced or announced a summer competition this year garden competition and we would really like if some of our members and others who are watching this uh, session today join us and participate in that competition shuruaat hai ho sakta hai thode se participants ho but thode se agar shuru bhi hogi to ek shuruaat ho jayegi and we will then hope to carry it on for the next year too so we've requested Shama ji, jinka bahut experience hai floriculture mein, unki koi introduction ki zarurat nahi hai, hamari to wo FSN ki president hai, so members don't need to be introduced to her to take this session. She'll start with telling us how to preserve the seeds of the winter annuals that we've already collected. Us pe wo thoda unko information dengi, baaki jo focus rahega aaj ke session ka will be on color in our garden. So let's wait for her to come back and then we'll start. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Deepa. And it's always a pleasure to be part. And since now I'm really sincerely a part of all of you, it gives me even greater pleasure. Yeah. So starting with collecting uh, the seeds that we have already collected, most of us have collected. The critical point is that one must, uh, you know, let it dry in a shady area, semi-shady or shady, where there's no direct sun, but there's enough light. If you can leave them outside for about two, three days in this extreme heat that we are uh, experiencing right now, you will find that they dry up very fast. And it's better because if there's any element of moisture also that can lead to fungus. Now, a few things, just a few things so that uh, there are still some flowers like uh, my Mary Ampeto at least, Phlox hai, Petunia hai, Un sab mein abhi bhi flowers hai, Status hai, and uh, they are slowly the forming seed heads and all that, and they're just uh, getting ready. But I have not harvested them as yet. So there might still be a few stragglers here and there. But however, whenever you collect them and uh, you cut off the dried heads and put them on a piece of, uh, you know, newspaper or some kind which is absorbent, which absorbs any excess moisture from here and there. And you can dry it on that in semi uh, shade. And after uh, uh, three, four days, you can sort of uh, remove the shaft, all the, you know, chilka, all the shaft from it and get your seeds out of it. And thoda baut agar reh bhi jai, to koi usme, ko nahi, koi katinai nahi hai usme. But isme ek baat ye hai ki ab aap jo isko preserve karoge, inko rakoge, to in my opinion, completely my experience, we never put them in plastics or plastic containers or anything. We've always put them in paper, wrap them up either in newspaper only and put a stuck sticker on top of it, naming the uh, flower seeds it is. Most, uh, many people now know also by looking at the seed, ki ye, haan, ye iska hai, ya iska hai, ya sna uh, snapdragon ka hai, ya kiska hai. Wo sab ab thoda baut identify kar sakte hai. But for beginners, it's always better ki jahan ab sukha rahe hai na, sticker laga ke rakho, so you know ye iske beej hai. Or phir uske baad aapne uh, newspaper mein wrap kar do ya paper bags le lo. Aaj kal brown paper bags ya newspaper ke hi itne achche achche bags ban rahe. To wo un mein dalne ke baad sticker laga ke usko ab aap preserve karo ya to you have uh, like I have little wooden boxes. So I keep one seed on top of the other in this uh, wooden box and I lock it up because in, on the farm we are exposed to ants, 
you are exposed to rodents and and uh, moisture can come in from anywhere so little rays agar wo bilkul hi floor pe nahi rakhti hu main thoda sa utha ke do eeton ke upar rakh deti hu taaki kabhi moisture bhi aaye niche agar farsh pe bhi pani pad gaya to kam se kam inko koi khatra nahi hai the other way a lot of people also do is that they put them in glass bottles and what you can do is put each one of them in small glass bottles and label them or you can again pack them up in these uh, newspaper bags and put them then in little bottles and label them or take a big bottle and put a whole lot of them but all of them should be labeled isme sirf thoda bahut khatra ye hota hai any little negligence aur wo khul gaya agar aapka beech ka packet to mix hone ka dar rehta hai as far as silica gel is concerned if you can uh, get small small silica ke wo even online milte hai to there is no harm adding one in your bottle is always better than you know better to be safe than to be sorry so but the main uh, issue in collecting seeds is that uh, which seeds do you collect don't wait for it to be the end of the season where you just about know ke okay ye wale jo seeds the ha ye petunia ke the but usme bhi jo sabse healthiest plants the unko kisi tarah aap identify karke koi ribbon band do ya koi dhaga band do aur zyada unme se aap collect karoge to aage chalke jo bolte genetic value is always good जो पेरेंट होगा वही बच्चे में भी आएगा तो यू कैन यू नो डू दिस काइंड ऑफ अ थिंग आल्सो एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आल्सो डू सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन एंड ट्राई टू गेट सम न्यू कलर्स आउट ऑफ दिस सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द वेज इन विच यू कैन वाज इसमें आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू आल्सो नो कि सिंगल स्टॉक में ही बीज लगता है डबल स्टॉक में नहीं लगता है तो इसलिए आपको सिंगल और डबल को साथ उसके दोनों के हेड्स अगर आप ऐसे रख के उसको बांध दोगे तो जो सिंगल वाले आ, उसमें सिंगल वाले में जो बीज बनेगा तो उसमें डबल के भी निकलेंगे अलग डबल के मुश्किल है आ, निकलना देन टाइम what is the time of collecting of these seeds is also very important normally they say sometime mid season if you collect they are even better because then you can see the quality of the blooms and thereby identify them however by plucking them during the mid season that means you have allowed it to seed the moment you have allowed a plant to seed that plant will now no longer give out fresh flowers and we want an extension of this uh, season so we don't at least i don't collect in the mid season but if they are in pots so sometimes i can uh, sacrifice one or two pots and use them for collecting some of the good seeds so uh, but otherwise towards the end of the season only when they naturally start browning and the seed pods form etc that is the time we collect that so the only thing is that when you are drying them then also don't leave them for in the sun or something or don't leave them for too long outside because then they might dehydrate and those seeds might not give you any uh, seedlings later on so uh, as far as seeds are concerned i hope this part is clear and we can anyway discuss this Uh, a little bit more later also when if you have any further questions then we can discuss that now as far as our summer garden comes now any garden any garden is always has a few principles of garden design so you are growing a whole lot of uh, uh, flowers for instance uh, you have starting from your zinnias fortunately because of the heat carrying on right now and no rain or anything 
we are still having a good supply of uh, zinnias. Then you have gumfrinas, then you have galadia. Galadia has started now and they are doing exceedingly well. And even silosia and um, coxcomb and balsam and uh, sunflowers. There are so many varieties of sunflowers now, all kinds of sunflowers, uh, they are there. And apart from that, you have some uh, interesting foliage also, like polka dots. Those are there. Then you have your uh, seasonal um, climbers, like morning glory, ipomia. These also are flowering. Then uh, you have perennial verbena. Right now, perennial verbena is in full bloom. You have several colors in perennial um, uh, verbena and portulaca, fruit beccia, then uh, vinca. Vinca is, vinca is very, very nice now because we have so much of hybrid varieties that uh, they are creating a splash of color. And if you have some coleus of your own, you can add these to your. <coughs> your whole landscaping. These are some of the various things with which you can work. I haven't come to the ornamental plants. Ornamental plants, we have lots of them anyway right now. But let's first work out what should be the principles of, uh, you know, of a garden design. If you are designing this garden, it would apply even for a summer garden, particularly for a summer garden. Let's start with what we call the first uh, element, and that is color. Now, in color, you have the color wheel. I'm just going to share with you the color wheel. Okay, so here we go. Now you have all these colors, the blues, the light blues, and the indigos, etc., in the cool element. And the second uh, element is, are the warm elements. All the warm colors are your red, orange, gold, pure, yellow, pink, fuchsia, red based, purple. All these are your warm colors. Now, when it comes to choosing flowers and foliage plants, then you dis, just, it is just like deciding uh, the color palette of your house also. So in the same way, we choose a color palette for your garden. Now these warm colors, what, what does the warm colors do? They create an element of excitement and welcoming. So there is a welcoming energy to these warm colors. So use all your warm colors in, in your entry area so that as soon as somebody enters, it has a very uh, welcoming feeling. Also, warm colors tend to make things very close. So if you have a large garden and you have warm colors in it, then it looks very compact and doesn't look as if, you know, it's spread out. It looks very compact and the warm colors are inviting and they make the place very uh, cozy. So you using these colors, is uh, again for a seating area where you want to be a little cozy or an outdoor dining area. The, all those areas make it very, very nice. Then the cool colors are all your blues and uh, blue based colors along with your green also. Now, what is the mood they create? They create a mood of relaxation and calmness. So also what they tend to do is they, these colors tend to make your area more spacious. So if you want, uh, if you are going to show in your garden a bench or a quiet reading area, because I saw in the winter gardens, a lot of people putting their jula and they're also putting their little um, round table with chairs around it to, for sitting, etc. So having uh, cool colors around it will give the feeling of calmness. Along with these warm and blue colors, there is also a neutral color. Now, neutral colors are your whites, your black, your grays, your silver colors, and even your brown colors. 
brown color would also go in your a neutral color so what comes under brown are your wood if you are showing some driftwood or you are showing earth they come under your neutral color now again neutral colors along with your you know evergreen we always consider green as a base so considering those they create more of a calm mood also along with your other colors now it is used basically this neutral colors are used to bring about in a multi uh, uh, colored space it separates some of these warm and cool colors say you can separate them out or you can even create a backdrop of these which will make your colors shine so i am telling you all this because a lot of you had a lot of uh, what should i say uh, um artifacts and you had shelves and you had lot of wooden shelves and a uh, lot of pots with wood and all that so uh, how to use them so that you can design your garden in a more aesthetic manner that will uh, garner you points uh, also then the next point that we uh, can look at is texture in any garden there are textures for instance you have the ornament you have ornamental grasses just now deepa was talking about grasses grasses create a very fluffy and airy feeling then you have areca palms or something they have a very airy breezy look about them now if you uh, use these along with other textures because you can have many other textures also which heavy textured or broad textured or block dense textured so you can use each texture you know to offset another so if you just show heavy uh, thick just sunflower 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 and a collection of heavy sunflower and in between you show an airy um, say uh, grasses a pot of that one of those grasses or an areca palm or a fern then it kind of uh, it reduces the dullness of that area it will create a an interest and your eyes will then be taken in by both these different kind of textures so you have now plants with very fine textures and if they are uh, you know set off with elements which are a little heavier textured then the heavier texture looks grounded and doesn't look overbearing okay so you could by heavy textured i also can mean a wall you can have maybe a a brick wall or something behind your uh, all your pots where you have kept all your pots there could be a heavy you know wall also so how do you dress up that wall by putting something of a different texture medium textured are those with medium leaves and flowers and they are not very dense also they are medium in between so you can you know utilize the medium textures along with airy also and you can use them with heavy textured also so this way you set off your uh, textured plants on now te by texture i can mean your artifact by textures i can mean um, your focal point your uh, it can mean your uh, you could have an umbrella in your uh, summer garden or you could have some pottery so those would be heavy textured so any one of these items etc stone carvings or stone uh, some uh, jaffrey or something behind you so even those come under texture so you can change textures also and have a combination of text not necessarily only plants ke sath you are playing up with you can even play up with all these items pottery ke koi ghada rakh diya beech mein to wo heavy textured ho gaya uske sath sath aapne bade delicate se koi plants grow, uh, laga diye so it will look nice now if i if i have a nice big ghada which is a beautiful uh, you know um, terracotta one and then i put big big sunflowers also around it i think you can visualize what i am trying to say i'm just giving you an example that 
is not going to be something uh, is going to be very heavy so again you have to set it off with something medium or something with light after this then you have shape you can have shapes and forms also now very often we cut our ficuses in different shapes in a globe shape then we have jades we cut them in globe again upar niche this or you have a nice thin cypress growing or an umbrella plant growing so these are again different shapes so play around with some of these shapes if you have a rounded one then something around it should be a little more wispy and falling down kind of if you have a long uh, something then partly you could have something long along with it like an erica palm you have a big huge big erica palm around it so uh, near it you can have something which is or you probably have a fountain of potulaka pouring down down the pot so these are all the shapes also you can take into account now uh, contrast whenever you are even in the color wheel that i showed you i have told you broadly there is a cool color and these are warm colors and not but in using them we can we could use colors in the sense that we could have a monochromatic uh, now by monochromatic i mean taking you know, just say if you are doing dealing with just yellows also you can have a light yellow you can have a dark yellow you could have a little bit of orange in it and uh, colors like that and make one area completely with that have a little bit of green splashed along with it you could do it monochromatic so some areas just yellows one area just white one area just purple you could do that but too much of it also will uh, will be like patchwork it will look like patchwork so in that if you create an area where there is contrasting colors so you look at the color wheel and take a color opposite it and combine those contrasting colors then you create an uh, eye grabbing area again because this is different from all your monochromatic area. so immediately you you know you start feeling your eye is drawn towards it and it seems to bind your whole garden together so think look at contrast also and by contrast i am also saying that your summer garden should have a lot of green in it because in delhi noida in the ncr region with such hot summers at the, in summers we like to look more at green so always have a backdrop of green or a mixture of green along with your different colors because it's as it is the sun is so bright so we are not looking at too much of bright colors so green could be always a very good contrast to uh, use now uh, of course always i keep telling you this that when you are taking your videos of your gardens then where do you start from so start from where you can see your garden see it should be a view point like we used to always tell in our um, in our basic garden training classes also we always talk of a view point that from your house you should always be able to look out into your garden similarly now what you are doing by sending us videos for your summer garden is you are giving us a window through which we are looking at your garden so you must have a uh, choose a point from where you are going to show this so that is attractive otherwise we tend to see a lot of gardens where you start from the entry because you feel uh, we have to uh, this is the entry and we are starting from here and at the entry i see ke bhai ghas theek se hai nahi wahan pe greenery nahi hai wah mitti dikh rahi hai ya wahan koi bare patch dikh raha hai so it's not necessary that you must start from the entry only and show your garden you start from a view point which you feel is the most attractive and lead it on i'm not saying it should be the most attractive 
because we should slowly build it up build up your uh, um, uh, videos by not showing us the best part of your garden in fact start from a lower interesting part of your garden but then build it up to go to a climax where you will show us something extremely nice which is your focal point of your garden and then move from there so view point also you should just as you when you are viewing your garden uh, from your house from your bedroom or from a window in your uh, house which if you open the window you see a shrub which is very beautiful which is giving lot of flowers and which is fragrant that kind of look is always very very inviting so that view point you must have it could well be perhaps it could be a bird bath it can and these days we are all keeping water for birds and feeders for birds etc so you could well start from there and then go to whichever part uh, you want to show us so don't start from the best part but lead us to your best part now uh, line that line you see i i was seeing a garden uh, the other day somebody sent me a video where in their garden they had uh, though they had uh, you know a, a space and beds etc they did not grow things in the bed they only grew them in pots and growing them in pots they had lines and lines and lines of these pots initially it gave a splash of color it give, it gives a very good splash of color so give it at the entry need at the entry of your garden you can have a line of two uh, of uh, pots which what do they do they give you direction if they give you direction and they lead you on so that kind of a line giving is also nice but not the whole garden you can't just go on showing us lines and lines and lines of you know uh, कमले रखे एक नीचे तो एक बीच में एक ऊपर उस ग्रेडेड वे में पॉट्स आपने रखे हुए हैं और पूरा गार्डन आपका सिर्फ उसी का लाइंस का ही बना हुआ है सो दैट समाउ आई फील इज नॉट वेरी अट्रैक्टिव लाइंस शुड बी यूज्ड टू वेर एवर यू वांट द व्यूअर टू टेक अ टर्न एंड गो ऑफ सो देट यू कैन गिव अ लाइन and it doesn't have to be a straight line only it can be a curved line or anything why am i being muted sorry okay. uh, sorry shama ji i was muting someone else and by mistake <laughs> okay okay i'm so sorry <laughs> i was wondering if it is my network or what no 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 okay but lines are also very useful when you want to block off unpleasant areas like the back of your neighbor's garden or garage or whatever or there are some rubbish carts somewhere and you want to hide those uh, so their lines are very important but lines create you know a formality in a garden so if your garden is an informal garden and you do not want to emphasize too much on uh, formality then use little bit of lines but do not use too much of it might be used to give shape to your beds it might be used to give you know you could have rectangular uh, beds etc and you could have a little um, a line of uh, your uh, some uh, ground cover border or something like that but to give it a casual look then it should have a more curved look to the whole thing then i always i keep telling you must have a focal point okay so your garden should be tied to this focal point again as i said this could be the climax of your garden so you are taking the camera along and you are showing us a lot of your plants everything and then you come to your focal point then you focus on it for a little while but your focal point should not be hard should not be a hard uh, you know fountain and a waterfall please incorporate plants along with it 
if you do not encor even if they're greens because green is also a color so put some plants at least around your waterfall or your water body which will uh, soften the look so focal point should not be harsh and should not be very strong they again like i just said you know you whatever uh, form you use a harsh form or a hard form you must soften it down with something and greens are the best thing natural point natural uh, look you can give for that now uh, after focal point then we come to structure now what happens is many gardens you have walls you have hedges you have um, you know pergolas etc and these are solid structures and uh, they 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 also need them but you have to uh, separate each one of them out by again softening that look with uh, some texture change in texture change in uh, contrast change in form so if this is a curved uh, pergola or something so under it you could have rectangular beds so that you break the form of this curved line so where you have curved line if you have something straight over there it breaks it also so things like that you can create and a lot of us in structure we also create these uh, trees and shrubs we uh, do topiary so if you are doing topiary then uh, this also adds to various different structure in your garden then in your garden you also have what is um, what be or uh, uh, what i at least always like to say is that have a repetition by repetition we mean that um, for instance ke aapne um uh, how should i explain uh, is that you have a uh, you know one gamla maybe or something rounded in it some greens which are rounded in it then uh, and you have foliage under it then have another uh, one typically like that again again foliage under it. so if you have three or four of them in a line and you are uh, repeating this so it adds a kai it, it does add but it adds a formality to it so repeating colors repeating shapes must again be broken down by some light material or semi light or the medium uh, 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 textured things at the base but if you are doing any repetition then remember to repeat everything niche also to uh, the same like Uh, clipped hedges like you have hedges so you are creating these uh, curves in your hedges your people have shelves in their hedges then that is a repetition that has to you can't have just this piece of hedge which is cut like that and the other plain no then you are creating this repetition in this whole hedge now this is forming again a background a structure so again uh, under it also should be a uniform one so again niche also you might change the texture you have changed the texture you have can change the uh, leaf size you can change all those but they should all be the same so then the effect of this hedge the beauty of this hedge and what is below it is highlighted so repetition is also very very nice sometimes even in carries we do that center ko bada kar dete hai kuch bhi lamba जैसे आपके डॉग फ्लावर लगा दिया बीच में एंड देन अराउंड इट दीज आर इनफॉर्मल गार्डन आई एम टेलिंग यू अबाउट देन अंडर इट यू हैव अ सेकंड लेयर देन यू हैव अ थर्ड लेयर इज इट सो देन आफ्टर अ लिटिल व्हाइल यू गो अगेन यू डू द सेम सो व्हेन यू रिपीट दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग अगेन इट ऐड्स अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट एंड इफ यू आर ग्रोइंग थिंग्स इन पॉट्स सो इट्स वेरी इजी टू डू इट you just have to place your pots and arrange everything under it so this kind of repetition also is um, uh, brings beauty to your gardens so then finally what is the most important is balance balance in your garden now again in a lot of gardens that we saw 
we saw very nice, beautiful structure on one side, very nice, the bhare hue plant, and heavy on this side. But the moment the camera turned and came onto this side, it was very light. There was nothing there, it was just, just some shells with a few pots kept on it. That immediately creates dissonance in my mind, at least. So balance by balance can be of weight, by balance can be of color, and uh, it can be, it could be even uh, symmetrical and asymmetrical also. If it is symmetrical, you always see, then jo yahan pe laga hai, wohi yahan pe bhi laga hua hai, jo yahan ho raha hai, wohi yahan pe bhi ho raha hai. But in asymmetrical, one side itself can be a little, uh, you know, asymmetrical ki idhar, कुछ आपने लंबा रखा तो इधर आपने छोटा रखा फिर आपने कुछ लंबा रखा और फिर आपने उसको कर्व करके लाइन घुमाया एंड यू कम ऑन टू दिस साइड व्हेन यू कम ऑन टू दिस साइड द वेटेज ऑफ दिस साइड ऑफ योर गार्डन शुड हैव अ सिमिलर वेटेज ऑन दिस मे बी स्लाइटली लाइटर इफ यू वांट टू मेक इट एसिमेट्रिकल बट इट कैन नॉट बी टू लाइट इट शुड हैव a kind of balance between the sides of your garden, between uh, looking at your garden, I should see it as a composite whole. I should not see it like a tail, that it's heavy from one side and as it petering down, it goes and it becomes nothing. No. So don't have these gaps in between or at least one side completely when you are looking at your garden, when you are uh, even playing around with your pots and with your carries, then always have this kind of a balance done. Because then it gives you a feeling of, it should have a visual, uh, uh, you know, it should be visually pleasant there. Only when you create all these balances. Now I will uh, show you... Uh, a few pictures also. So these are some of the points only that I have uh, told you about. And uh, I just, I'll show you a few pictures and then you can uh, ask me questions. Now, this is my garden only. What I'm trying to show over here is a play of perennials because in your garden, you have perennials also, which you are not, you can't move them around. The best part of a summer garden is you can highlight these perennials. These perennials, winter, mein, bahut, uh, wo lagte hai. they are in dormancy. So they are looking very weak and they, uh, they don't have much of a vibrancy. While right now in summer, the green part of it is really vibrant. So highlight it. Play with colors and show the colors around all this green. So now you can see there is a curved line which is going around it. Then towards the end, you can see I have made a line also. There, you can do that. You, you know, you are using the line to give direction so that a person knows that I have to go then I'll give you another example also of um, uh, of a line. Okay. Uh, now this I am I have created this line because the, as you can see, there's a little edge of a green plant coming onto the from the right side. So I have to give a little space for movement. So I have just created a straight line over here. Because as I go further on, then I have my badliya and all the other green. So this way, lines can also be used just for giving direction. This is my entry actually, as you enter from this thing, again, it's just giving you a curved line, but you can see a lot of greens. I've used a lot of greens because 
summer, as I said, you like to look at green. Again, usage of line, just to give you again a direction. Now this is an informal line. So this line along with my Arika palm, that is also in a pot to add to the greenery. If you do not have a pakka garden, you have a terrace garden you or a balcony, just use your potted greens now. Show off your greens and show us how healthy your greens are along with flowers. So it, it, summer garden does not uh, have to uh, be uh, bereft of color. There can be lots of color, but play up your green. This would be... Uh, Okay, now I just, uh, some of the good plants, I just want to show you, uh, this is a caladium, I think I've shown it before also, and there is lot, of, I mean caladium and uh, coxcomb. So there are lots of uh, plants which you can see. Um, Beautiful caladiums right now. So this kind of foliage along with your spotted uh, polka dot leaf. I'm forgetting the name of it, but that's also growing a lot. So you can use this also. Um, okay. Some more. I'll just show you some more. Sorry. Oh. Then uh, there was another because uh, my first my zinnias came and uh, then I had arranged my garden along with zinnias. So these have different colors. Of course, here I have not segregated the pool and the bright, but more oranges were here because this is the entry part of it then i still have a lot of begonias which are still flowering and uh, we used begonias also and balsam so uh, i think somewhat i've shown you now this front part is heavy in my garden it's heavy but as you walk into my garden you end up at a um, uh, at a big fountain, which is the focal point of my garden. So over there, I have lots of greens on that uh, uh, on that waterfall. So this heaviness of this uh, entry is again balanced by heaviness at the end of the garden. So that's how I just wanted to show. I mean, this is my concept of it. I'm sure you will have better ideas and better uh, things to think of because I saw some very beautiful gardens uh, in the winter gardens. So I'm sure you will all do a much better job. But just to give you an idea how to go about it, I hope you are able to understand and uh, could relate to whatever I'm saying. So if there are any questions? Shamaji, like I would like to draw your attention up the gardens with spaces cover in fact, Anybody who would want to, you can utilize the concept for smaller spaces. But as you saw the last time, balconies mein, sabse hum logon ko aayi thi dekhne mein. because the participants were not able to balance nahi kar paai ki artifacts pe focus kare ya plants. Pe focus kare. So if you give them general directions, de de, not only for yeah. summers, but otherwise also. You know? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, the, like I was saying, now this is what Deepa is saying is what uh, is the question of balance. Now, if you have too much of hard material, you have to do it, you have to do it, you have to do it, 
some light green material, some flowers, something, then you did not break that heaviness of that area by having too many artifacts. That is what I'm saying, that you must, if you have something heavy, always have something light around it, something medium around it. You know, and if you have something medium, then again, something light plus a little bit of, a little bit of heaviness. Balance all the weights. Do not have too much of something on one side and as I said, nothing on the other side. If you have artifact and you created an area where you want to show fountain and ducks and all that around, then please break that heaviness with as much of greenery you can add there. Because in a summer garden, it will be much better to look at greens. And that doesn't, you can easily have a complete green garden. Please, as a judge, I will tell you that if you can show me a completely green garden with hardly any flowers in it, but you are showing color through textures of leaves and through uh, colors of foliage, even that is a wonderful garden. Even that will get good points. It doesn't mean you have to fill it up with flowers or flowers and flowers alone. Summer garden is different from a winter garden for this reason. In winter, all our greens are in dormancy. So we cannot play around with their greenery and show, show off their beauty. So we uh, compensate for that loss by showing off a nice green lawn along with beautiful flowers. And winter is where the sunlight is very light and we want to uh, highlight that. So then the colors stand out very well and we appreciate that. But uh, artifacts, hard material, heavy material should also have a, you know, a proportion in your garden. It cannot be that your garden is fully made up of artifacts. No. That is not a, that is not your skill in it. That is just that I can buy and come and bring and collect it and put it there. I want to see your to skill in the garden. There has we to be a to connect see. between your plants yeah. and your with, right? yes. yes, absolutely. We have want to see your skill as a gardener. Apka kehne ka matlab hai, even if a gardener's plants like aglonema, coleus, along with yes. greens like arika palms and all that is also a good garden yes, to go around. absolutely you know, absolutely fill it up with uh, nursery bought zinnias and sunflowers to make it ha. bright ha. you don't have to overdo your uh, flowers and if you have them nothing like it you can compensate with your greens and that you add that splash of color wonderful but if you can show me just that color with your coleus with your different bakias which also have colors or with your crotons, which also have colors. That's a fair, very good garden. So considering our show, jo humne judging ka rakha hai from 25th June to end of June, there is a lot of time hai, hey. jo, jo is rahe and yeah. uh, we would like to new participants to listen session ah. ko in, sunte hue, participate yes. kare. Actually, it's the spirit of participation, you know. Or uh, yes. it's not always ki haan, jeet hai. Jeet is always a bonus, but the very yeah. fact that you get suggestions as you winter gardens ko dekh ke, uh, ki balconies ko kaise balance out karna chahiye. Haan, so haan. hopefully if those members are here, when we yeah. if they participate next year, then we'll know ki unhone kuch incorporate kar liya. Uh, any haan. questions you can put them into the chat box or you could unmute yourself and ask. One by one, not as a Jamgatta. Please, let's not make it a fish market. We have some a few minutes. Any questions? Although I think... Vinka, Achha, Seema when... ji, ah, Seema ji is saying, Vinka, when we purchase, they die. Now, I'll just tell you about Vinka. Is that it hates overwatering and water logging. So, watering is your main... Uh, in, in this weather, if there is water logging and upar se dhup tez hai, to wo sadta hai. Things are boiling inside. So watering is very important. Your pot mixture is very important. Pot mixture, if it is going to have too much of uh, uh, patti ki khad, which holds water, 
and does not if there is uh, just soil which is uh, your noida ka clay soil to wo pani rokega wo pani rokega that's why they die i've seen this with vinka vinka needs very judicious watering uh nisha hello we got disconnected we got disconnected uh shama ji kahan chale gaye shama ji okay has somebody she's got disconnected to shama ji has no shama ji is here yeah she is here ah ni shama ji actually problem for we find is is she in yeah i guess yeah 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 what happened what i don't know what is connect ho raha hai ek minute ke liye what we find in vinka jo desi variety hai na wo to barishon mein bahut achhi rehti hai aaram se chalta hai the variety actually is the one which rots you know barishon mein zyada dikkat aati hai wo chalna jata hai vinka is only up till june that's why i was asking you 25th से आप आ, मतलब ये कंपटीशन कर रहे हैं तो उस टाइम पे विंका खत्म हो जाएगा विंका खत्म हो जाएगा आपका और पोटुला का चलेंगे ये सब रहेंगे जिनिया खत्म हो जाएगा और विंका खत्म हो जाएगा मोस्ट लाइकली या इफ यू आर क्लेवर इन टू प्रिजर्व इट then you can preserve your vinka but it's it's a matter usse pehle karenge to kai jagah pe wo blooming ki dikkat ho jati hai usse isliye kafi discussion ke baad kara ki itna time frame mein rakhe nahi to kai garden ready nahi ho payega to phir they would feel inadequate but aapne aaj bahut acha option diya alternative diya ki just don't worry about the flowers yeah. you can get in foliage of different yeah. colors you know जो आपने इनकी पिंकी पिंकी बताया दैट हाइपोसिट इज वट एवर हाउ यू हाइपोसिट इज हाँ राइट बिकॉज यू ऑल कॉल इट इनकी पिंकी ना नाट करेक्शन शुड वी एड मोर सॉइल मोर सैंड टू सॉइल मिक्स फॉर विंका एंड देन There's also a lot of uh, mealy bugs this time in the portulaca. Uska uh, it's not so much the portulaca, just me mealy bugs. Hai. Mealy bugs is coming from somewhere else. Koi ped hai kya apke ghar ke aas pas jis me se mealy bugs girte hain. Because I have an Alistonia, and every year it gets infested. Or fir usse girte hain mere garden me. So wo mealy bugs ke liye. मिली बग के लिए तो आपको वही शैम्पू शैम्पू वाला थेरेपी करना है एट टू टेन एम एल ऑफ प्रोटीन शैम्पू एंड इन वन लीटर ऑफ वाटर एंड स्प्रे ऑन योर प्लांट्स विच हैव गॉट दिस थिंग सो एंड नेक्स्ट डे यू कैन डू वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ व्हाइट विनेगर एंड वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ फ्रेश लाइम जूस mix that together and uh, put it in 1 liter of water and you can you know again spray that also so you, you can uh, try out the soap i know soap water helps a lot um now go to rasham ka question tha about mixing sand in the soil mixture for uh, vinka will that help well make your sand with gritty a little grit and add a little bit of grit also in it and uh, you can add you see a balu reet is of no use balu reet jab aap use karte ho wo aur compact karta hai because cinder hai ha cinder hai aur khangar badarpur khangar ka chura wo aap use kar lijiye usko thoda barik karke wo aap use kare to thoda drainage aapke usme aur jo main hamesha batati hu main problem in all these spots in all these spots the main problem is that niche thikriyan theek se nahi lagayi gayi bas ek thikri lagaya hai aur fir mitti bhar di usse niche wo block ho jata hai hole to aap thikriyan achhi tarah bharwa ke fir aap mitti dalwaye usme to fir aapka kabhi bhi blockage nahi hoga 
दिस इज द मेन सीक्रेट चलिए वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ द टॉपिक इज हाउ डू वी रिटेन रोजेस इन एक्सट्रीम समर अकॉर्डिंग टू राहुल जी तो कीप सेंग दैट यू स्प्रे दम इन द मॉर्निंग यू हैव टू वॉश दम थरली एंड स्प्रे दम है ना दैट हेल्प अ लॉट and so you keep one part of the day for watering your plant and the evening part of it for spraying your plant by spraying it what you tend to do is ye jo spider mite bhi baith jata hai wo bhi wash out ho jata hai and don't worry even rahul ji told us ki unke jo patte vatte sab khaye hue thode mottled se curled se through summer hote फिर वो सब सही हो जाते हैं बाय मॉनसून आ जाती हैं सब कुछ देन दे आर फाइन सो आई वुड नॉट सजेस्ट शेड में आपने बिल्कुल नहीं रखना है रोजेस को या सेमी शेड करना या कुछ बहुत टेरेसेस के ऊपर भी दे डू फाइन इफ यू जस्ट लीव दैट सॉइल मिक्सचर अगेन इज द सीक्रेट टेरेसेस पे हां ऑन द थर्ड फ्लोर टेरेस यस Yes, and they're all in cedar only. There is no yeah. soil in it. Yeah, that is true. But I was Rahul not very is, successful. Uh, are all in cedar. Yeah, but uh, you know, I found that when I mix the two together, it was much better. Yeah. So maybe see, he follows a complete pattern. You know, yes. 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 Y
for taking Thank time you. out. Even all participants seem to have enjoyed your session when I getting very so. complimentary comments. Vivek, oh, can we share this you. certificate signed by Samaji to herself? This is to keep her time out. To keep seeds of bhindi should be do from beginning or mid season. No, you can uh, see first in the big, um, beginning you put bindi, wo khatam bhi ho gai hogi. So again you can sow bindi. Wo to aapko koi problem nahi hai. Aap sow karte ro. Mainne to abhi abhi garmi ki dhaniya bhi dali hai. Harvested it just now. What? So you there's can. A there's a separate dhaniya for garmi, is it? Yes, yes, yes. There is a separate for Mira. garmi. था कि जैसे जब शुरू में भिंडी आती है तो उस भिंडी को रखें या मिड सीजन की भिंडी को रखें बीज के लिए अच्छा बीज के लिए नहीं वो लास्ट में जो हो जाती है ना जो भी आपकी फसल है अगर आपने शुरू में लगाया था उसके एंड में एक दो वो पेड़ों को छोड़ दो तो फिर वो जो उसका ड्राई हो जाता है भिंडी वो बीज उठा के रख सकते हो तो वो कोई इसमें मिड सीजन का नहीं है वो शुरू में जो शुरू वाले एक दो भिंडी तो नहीं रखते ना लाइक माई गार्डनर से एकदम शुरू वाला दो भिंडी रख दो नहीं नहीं एकदम शुरू वाला भी नहीं रखते हैं और एकदम आखिरी वाले को भी नहीं रखते हैं बट वी हैव टू अलाउ इट टू ड्राई एनी वे सो वो इट गोज टू द एंड ऑफ द सीजन ओनली थैंक यू श्यामा जी थैंक यू सो वेरी मच वंस अगेन थैंक यू थैंक यू दीपा थैंक यू बाय बाय थैंक यू बाय Hope to see support nice support. gardens now. Yeah, we look forward. Nisha, up se bhi, okay? <laughs> yeah, Nisha. This <laughs> time I'm also nice going terrace. to come. She's okay. a nice terrace balcony garden. Okay. Shama ji is ready to come yeah. to my place definitely. Yes, yeah. I will come. Pakka. Okay. <laughs> karo so, the same. Okay. 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 Karo. Thank you. Thank you so much. This was a very informative okay. and very interesting session. Thank inspired you. many people i hope so yes thank and you I so much to, to okay. giving more <laughs> to a summer garden thank, thank you, you. let's look forward yeah thank you thank you vivek thank you very good lecture excellent thank you thank